World Literacy of Canada approached four Toronto schools about incorporating a Gandhi Day celebration into the first month of the school year. Dear Ms. Wynn, my name is Christian. I'm currently in the sixth grade at Winchester Junior and Senior School. Recently, I've been learning about the nonviolent teachings of Gandhi with resources from World Literacy of Canada. We were approached by World Literacy, with whom we have a wonderful partnership. Right away, I was very excited because in our school, we make every means possible to teach our children about how to solve problems in a nonviolent way. And this particular topic is quite fitting. I learned if there are no guns, the streets would be safer. There would be a lot less killings, injuries, and crimes. Well, our school is very diverse. We are culturally diverse, and we are also economically very diverse. The area is traditionally a little bit of a rougher area, so it really helps the students focus on how you can turn a negative into a positive and how you can turn violence into a peaceful agreement. Two of the four schools involved in the Gandhi Day Nonviolence Project are part of 13 recognized priority neighborhoods in Toronto. Each of the schools we cooperated with are underserved. In all of these schools, students and teachers are in great need of fun and creative ways to learn and teach about nonviolence. All the work that we do, it weaves right into our curriculum in terms of art, drama, language, history, geography, uh, social studies. Through the Gandhi Day Nonviolence Project, students created visual expressions of peace by designing t-shirts as part of the lead-up to Gandhi's birthday celebration. What's important about these t-shirts is the power to communicate students' thoughts about peace and nonviolence immediately in ways that are visible and accessible to the students' families and to their communities. As part of the Gandhi Day Nonviolence Project, students are encouraged to speak openly about nonviolence by participating in skits and presentations. These activities help students to build public speaking skills and self-confidence. If you want people to hear what you have to say, you have to speak up. On Gandhi's birthday, World Literacy of Canada screened the very popular Bollywood film, Lage Raho Munabai. Sharing this mainstream film that is based around Gandhi and peace principles got students talking about how these concepts apply to their own lives. Through the Gandhi Day Nonviolence Project, World Literacy of Canada also initiated a letter writing campaign to the Ontario Minister of Education. Students were engaged in political activism by writing about the significance of the Gandhi Day Nonviolence Project to them and about the change they wished to see in their own communities. I'm writing to you today to ask if you can make October 2nd Gandhi Day. You're probably sitting down wondering why Gandhi? Thanks to Gandhi, we are trying to make a peaceful world and to make everyone a peacemaker. Gandhi was a non-violence man, so maybe he will make people take a step back and think before they do bad things. I find Gandhi a peacemaker, giving freedom to everyone. The more I hear about Gandhi, the more I want to become a helpful person. I also f find him like Nelson Mandela. I want this world to be a better place. Martin Luther King and Moza Parks. So please take my letter into consideration. Sincerely, David. Sincerely, Roshna. Sincerely, Shana. When I visited the classroom, I can hear the children comparing vocabulary that would tie in with peace and what vocabulary that would tie in with violence. Peace is about sharing. Peace is living in harmony with each other and the earth. Peace is joyful and happiness. Their insights about peace and conflict resolution and what they would like to see in the world, and in the, the whole world, to make that connection between their home, their school environment, and to the global world, that hit home the most. The skin you live in. Hey, look at your skin. The wonderful skin you live in. The skin you're all day in. The skin that you play in. The skin that you snuggle up, cuddle up, lay in. On October 2nd, familiar mentors like Terry Fox and Martin Luther King are mentioned alongside Gandhi in order to enhance students' understanding of good leadership. You respect them, people respect you back. That's what I think everybody should learn about. Every day that we're in here, we try to help our students understand 
how they can contribute back into the community. When we are able to bring outside community partnership to help us, then what we can provide to our students' education will become that much richer.